it's very easy to get all doomsday about all this stuff. But, you know, the next president can work hard and quickly at reversing a lot of this shit that uh, Trump is doing. And Trump will continue to be doing. Now, I just watched a... Oh, that's loud. I watched a speech of his uh, uh, on uh, the PBS channel. I will leave a link to that in the description bar. But uh, he did a speech talking about um, deregulation on a lot of stuff. And just the scope of how many regulations we have in place for a lot of things. And he has this rule where for every regu new regulation that's put into place, two need to be dropped. And I have to admit that I don't think that that's that bad of an idea. Um, something he mentioned in the speech as well is that, you know, there can be a new there can be new regulations that work far better than the old regulations. So he's, he's not saying that he's against regulations in general, it's just that if we're going to have them, let's uh, let's have them, you know, be decent and reasonable and things that don't destroy business. Now some things some types of regulations no matter what are going to uh, do a little bit to hurt businesses. There, there, there's no getting around that. Um, and so sometimes there has, still has to be some that do a little bit of, uh, that, that make it a bit hard for businesses. Um, you know, uh, environmental ones, uh, environmental issues, uh, yeah, uh, those are pretty much always going to hurt businesses to some degree, ones that could uh, pollute. Um, so there's there are some things that he's probably going to get rid of the regulations for. He and, and the people that he puts in his cabinet. There's going to be some things that they're, they're going to get rid of regulations for that we probably need regulations for. But the next president can put those back in. Um, the thing that we have to really worry about with Trump the most um, is if he uh, gets us into World War III. You know, that's the shit we got to worry about. Um, there's a lot of people on, uh, on disability who have some things to worry about with him because he'll, the way that he will cut the taxes on things, then he'll say, well, look, they, we, we now can't pay for this, so let's gut this. Stuff that I worry about. But, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. We'll see what, he, what he's actually able to get through. I wish that Congress couldn't pass something just on a, on a narrow majority. I think it should have to be at least 60%. That way they have to actually work to get something passed that both sides can support. The way it is right now, it's just like, um, well, whoever has just the even the most narrow majority, well, uh, let's uh, let's put something through that only that side likes. You know, I think that's destructive. I think uh, I think we could make things a lot better by uh, making it so they can't pass something unless uh, you know, not just a, a tiny majority, but a, a you know a reasonable majority agrees. So, I guess I don't know what more to say, but you know, it's hard not to look at this in a doomsday sort of fashion on the stuff that's, that's transpiring here. But we could always restore net neutrality in the future. Um, and I, I have hopes that the next president will do that. Of course, I have hopes that maybe something somehow may stop them from. Uh, getting rid of net neutrality. Maybe there's something that can stop it. Doubtful. But, uh... 
It'll be uh, three more years. Three more years of this shit. And hope we can survive it. Because um, even if we get rid of Trump, we're going to have Pence. Pence is... It's, it's, the, the, and we're going to have the rest of the administration. We're going to have all of the cabinet picks that are so horrible. Um, we're going to have the... Uh, Christian nationalism, the the dominionism and reconstructionism and all that shit. We're gonna have that continuing. But it can be undone. That's the thing we gotta remember is it can be undone. What they push forth is not there's there's nothing saying that it has to be permanent. And so we just have to Put a little bit, little bit of faith in the system that uh, the problems that are from the current administration will work itself out in the following administrations. So, anyway.